Welcome to the No Culture Fitness of Moms Who Lift podcast, where we bring you real people, real stories, with an action plan to match your goals. Topic is going to be all about, um, what are we talking about? We're talking about <laughs> mentality. Mentality of a victim. Oh, that's right. Victim of mentalities. A self-pity party. That's right. Self-pity party. So when things don't go your way, you do what? You go to that sad place. And you point fingers at everyone and everything except yourself, right? That's right. Well, and then sometimes you point at yourself, but it is it with a different focus, where instead of just be instead of trying to be, um, uh, instead of trying to be result, a creative, result a oriented. <laughs> yes, you are yes, just beating yourself up more. I already hurt, so might as well hurt more because you feel that this is the way to. It's an easier way to approach, painfully easier. So, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, before we continue, if you guys are actually enjoying the content, please, this is a free content that we provide. So uh, do hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening onto iTunes, uh, the best thing that you can do is actually leave a review. There's, uh, I believe, uh, one out of the five stars that you can leave. So do leave a comment, leave a review. That's actually going to go a long way for us in getting the content out. And I think what we, me and Elle, have been talking about is that since the podcasts do come out every Sunday, um, and I know most of the individuals are very, very into Monday motivation, but guess what? If you don't have a plan, no matter how much motivation you have, Nothing's going to get done. So <laughs> our podcasts from now on are going to be hashtag Sunday prep, right? So do, do, do tune in either uh, on Sundays or early Mondays to kind of get your uh, uh, week started off in, a, in the right way. So you actually have an actual plan of what to do and uh, are not just looking for a motivation to, um, to, get, to get you going and then kind of lose steam halfway through the middle of it. So here we go. Pity potty. <laughs> you want to start off, Al? Yes, it's we when we discuss the pity party, we also use the word catch to when you chew pity party because it's like running in a circle. You know the circle; it always gets you from point A, point B to point B to point C you're at the same spot. Yes, you didn't get far, but you know there is you know what you're gonna get. So this is the pity party, victim mentality. When the things. When you hit the struggles, the rough spots of any plateau, you start. There's oh, there's a different. Um, there's a different. I guess words will say to each other. It would depending on what I would, which part of the uh, journey we're talking about. If we're talking about weight loss, you get stuck. You say, "Oh, it's just my genetics. I I I was born sick. I was born uh, with fat gene. Whatever people say, I heard it all." I just cannot. You mean like th thicker than a snicker? Because I'm thicker, thicker than, than a snicker. Thicker <laughs> than a snicker, right? <laughs> and it's and you start feeling bad about it, and you you upset about it, and it just. But what it does, it gives you almost that excuse not to push through the plateau. It gives you an excuse not to step over the line, because you somehow believe. There's nothing there for you. You convince yourself. You convince yourself. So that has to do with, you know, weight loss. I mean, another thing is like someone signing up to do an event. And they've done it a couple of times, but they come to a certain point and they start self-sabotage. That self-sabotage, the words that I use. Doing things to just sabotage yourself. And unconsciously doing it. Either uh, trying to look for everything that will... Um, force them uh, or any excuse not to move on to that scary part where you actually have to do something you've been dreaming about your whole life. So, and as you become, you make yourself a victim of your circumstances. And instead of making yourself a handler, a, you know, boss of your circumstances, a manager, someone that can manage to find a way, right? And it's it's hard. It's boss, hard. It's I like that. Boss, B, the, boss. the big B O S S. Yes, <laughs> not the boss. The boss. 
Or maybe the bus. <laughs> maybe she thinks of a bus. The bus goes through everything and until it reaches destination. So this is the mentality that we're talking about. And I think this holds us back in many, many ways. Uh, no one is immune to that. Everyone been there every now and again. And if we're going to stick to fitness and nutrition, it totally applies. So we, uh, we want to explore a little more on how to manage or how to try to get out of that catch-22 and then you go and catch-23. So catch you're, 23. Out of that. <laughs> you're out of the loop. You, you, you step into the unknown. And yes, the, the, what you know you're going to get, what you know it's going to get is scary. You don't want that, but you know it. And you will succumb to that. You know how to deal with it. But it's scary to try something you've never tried. So how can we actually take steps to try to seep into that spot of the unknown just a little bit in our journey? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to chime in in terms of um, obviously everything comes down to your mindset. And as much as we all in the fitness industry want to focus on just, you know, getting to the gym and exercising and having a good diet, all, all of it, all of it is a mindset. And if your mindset is not correct, um, you, you are going to struggle to have that byproduct, right, of what comes from being consistent with getting to the gym and eating a healthy diet, obviously, and reaching your goals. And so the this mentality, as uh, we we mentioned in some some of the in some of the individuals who are big into um, it is mindsets, you know, and how how we actually fix that is this victim mentality. What does that actually mean? You know, it is, it means actually how, how is it that you are talking to yourself? How, what kind of words are you using to describe your habits, right? Um, are you constantly saying, oh, I will try or, oh, I can't, I tried everything and I just can't and it doesn't work. And I don't know those type of words, which are very uncertain, right? It's, it's an uncertainty like, oh, I'm not sure. Guess what? When you say that, you actually believe it. It, it comes down to your identity. Again, we kind of touched base on identity before with habit formation, but it truly is because if you yourself cannot believe that you can accomplish something, what makes you think that you trying it, right? doing it once is going to allow you to continue to go forward if you yourself do not believe it. And especially if you have, uh, if the people around you do not support you in what you're doing either, and they are in a sense, uh, almost like, like you can say brushing your hair, right. And saying, Oh, it's okay. I understand. It's okay that you ate some cake today. <laughs> it's a new day. Not a big deal. Or you didn't go to the, or you didn't go to the gym. That's okay. You know, it's, it's okay. Just stay home. It's okay. Stay home with me, whatever the case may be. So guess what? You're that, that it's also going into the support system. So if you do have people who are in a sense, self-sabotaging you, right? If that's what it is. Yeah. If they're the ones who don't understand your journey, what it is that you're trying to achieve. And they are constantly in your ear. Why are you doing this? Why, where are you going? Why is this important to you? Why? No, just come out with me. Let's go for drinks. Let's do this. Guess what? That in a sense is going to reassure your identity that you've always had with yourself that, mm -hmm. you know, going to the gym is not important anymore. Your, I will try will turn into, I failed again. And this is why again and again, you are spinning your wheels as we talked about, like a little hamster, right? You're running in that little wheel okay, and you eventually right catch 22 and eventually when you don't achieve your goal by going uh to the gym that you set out to do three times a week or uh prepping your meals you're going to point your finger and say oh it is this person's fault or it's because of stress from work or it's my kids or it's because of this guess what that finger pointing that you are constantly doing that is the victim mentality you need to i'm sorry to say it be very real with yourself and actually point the finger at you. You are the problem. That, uh, that's just the reality, okay? And the, more, and the sooner you realize this, the sooner you realize this meaning, it, I am the problem because I am the one who's in control. You as an adult, 
You're not a child. Yeah. Obviously, a child is different, but you as an adult are in full 100% control of what goes into your body and what you do with your life and every single second of your life. So pointing fingers is not going to get you anywhere. You're going to continue to go on that hamster wheel. So yeah. <laughs> pity potty. There we go. This is right. This is the pity potty we're, we're talking about. So, so like Yana said, support systems, they can be a support system and it may look like a support system, but it actually is not. It's actually a sabotage system. It's, it's a system you will say they comfort you, but you know, uh, you comfort is a, is a dangerous thing. You, sometimes you don't need to be comforted. Sometimes tough love is exactly what love is. It's tough. Just like it's hard tough to be a parent. Is parent easy to be? No, it's freaking Can you say that tough. one more time? Hold on. Hold uh, on. You're speaking uh, to me. Say that one more time. It's, it's <laughs> a tough love. When you truly care about someone and you truly care about someone, there's so many times it is so hard to love. It's easy. It, 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 it's not easy. So someone that truly cares about you and loves you I'm not going to compare parent love to a child, but I mean, you can think about that. Is It's so hard to actually be real with that person and say, hey, this is what it is. I know that you're struggling. But guess what? The struggle is real. You, If you want it, you've got to fucking struggle. Or just say, just give it up. Give it up. I don't want to hear it anymore. Just give it up. And not quite like that. It's almost like going to the gym, going back to habits just for a second. You decide that you want to go to the gym at 6 a.m. in the morning. You just, I just what I'm going to do before work. So I come to work. I'm all fresh. I'm all relaxed for my boss. <laughs> but you realize week after week, you're just not getting there. You're fucking not getting there. So instead of saying, okay, I just, you know, my life does not allow me for the gym anymore. I'm in a different part of my life. I'm a short of the gym. Instead of that, mm-hmm. say to yourself, okay. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. 6 a.m. is not work, but it doesn't mean I should give up the gym. It means I should give up my job. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be nice. Work work is on my way. Full time. (laughs) No, but I'm just not joking. But if if you say to yourself, 6 a.m. is not working, okay, I am fucking going after work. I know I fucking hate it. I know. I am trying it. I am going to try it. It may not work before, but I'm going to this time. I'm going to put my clothes in my goddamn car. I, in my car, I am not going home. I don't care what my spouse said. I don't care what my kids say. They're going to make, they're going to hit up the dinner or we're going to eat later. Or we, you're going to find a way. So it's about finding that way. Not just saying it doesn't work because, no, it's going to work because you're going to find a lot of times I would say, and, you know, I should say to myself more often than I say to my clients, don't tell me why you can't do it. I want to know why you can't. I want to know why you can't. Tell me how you can and how can I help you. So the true person that loves you as a parent will tell you, no, it's not okay that you didn't go to the gym. It's not okay that you keep eating that fucking cupcake every time there is a birthday in your goddamn office. No, it's not okay. What's okay is let's let's. Let's tell, okay, maybe bring yourself your own snack and keep it in your goddamn drawer. Keep your protein, but whatever you want, I don't know. Or let's find a way. It's not okay for you. No, you're not. You need to be in a gym because yeah. this is what you want. Well, you need, they they need to grow to some balls. They, you got to yeah. grow some balls, all right? Yes, so we're, we're, but let me tell you something. I know, right? <laughs> I was going to say, all right, ladies, you'll be like, what the fuck is the balls? I got balls. You got, you got balls growing on your chest. Right. You, you can buy. Listen, you can buy them too. You can buy them too. The brass. You, brass. you can buy them, correct? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you can buy anything at this point. <laughs> well, except, but no, we're not going cannot, into that. <laughs> you can't. You can't buy. You can't buy a heart. You cannot buy a soul. You cannot buy a heart. That's what I say to my kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you cannot, you cannot buy. You cannot buy willingness and determination to. Yes. To be able to do something. So yes. <laughs> You can buy anything you want, and it's all going to be temporary. The right. true, the true nature of anything, and anything that's worthwhile, that's is do a, you physically having to work for it. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, I, I know I, I apologize that I interrupted you, but I wanted to kind of touch base on that because a lot of the times, you know, when people 
mm, especially in fitness, I think they're always looking that, you know, hey, I'm going to lose weight so I can be happier. The, the, the concept of happiness almost in a sense comes up all the time, right? But the concept, it's not really what you're seeking for is not happiness. What you're seeking for more of is fulfillment, right? Fulfillment is very different than happiness. And in order to actually be truly fulfilled, you have to work very hard at something. It's going to take every single ounce out of you in order to achieve something. And, more. and that's when you're truly going to find fulfillment. Correct. And more. So it's th that that's what life is about in a sense of, I don't want to say life is, that's what life is about, but, but that's what any, any, in order for you to get past this yo-yoing effect or this hamster wheel or this blaming effect, it's going to require a lot of self change. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it is all internal. It is a huge, huge process. And whoever's selling you the promises of losing 20 pounds in 30 days, and you're trying this detox and everything is a miracle. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> and I'm going to say bullshit again. You can just say like they can just like they can just like the plastic surgeons can cut off your stomach or suck out that fat. Guess what? That fat is coming back. <laughs> In if you did not change your mentality. Yeah. Yes, it's gonna That's come back. It. You need the person, and I'm glad that you touched on the uh, on the transformation. You go into the surgery, or you go through the weight loss, or you go through whatever you went through so hard, and you transform. Let's say then physically, but the most transformation is needs to come from within. So this is where, in a way, when you became this new. 30 pound lighter person, have you became you transform your mentality into being that for that a different person, a happier person, like you're saying, because happiness doesn't come from you being 20 pounds lighter. Happiness comes from you feeling, um, from that feeling, uh, your brain 20 pounds lighter. Have you ever, is your, have you changed your mentality, your thinking that goes right back to where to the point that we started the victim mentality. You got to work so hard on changing your, the way that you think about yourself, the way that you approach thinking about your day, about everything. A feeling of accomplishment is a, is, is huge. It's um, a lot of times I would say like on a small scale, like finishing a workout, someone that struggles to even get to the gym, you finish the workout, you come out, you feel, almost like um like you're flying you feel weightless you feel so good it's like it's like a um a, a feeling of um i don't know like a high like certain high high it is a high right? it's a it's a euphoria because you euphoria. You, you accomplish but, something that you never even thought maybe was possible yes, or something that was so difficult for you but you overcame it and, and but, knowing that you yourself did it, no one did it for you. For you, you, you yourself that, did it. You yeah. bottled that feeling. Yeah. You bottled that feeling. Man, you know, I, I mean, man, speaking just figuratively. And every time that you need that push to get to the gym or to wake up early, whatever you think about, I know that right now I feel like this. But I remember. Here's I'm gonna close my for a second. I'm gonna take that mental picture of what I felt and it was real just like now it's real for me not wanting to do something to get that feeling but it was real so I'm gonna try so I'm gonna take that step I'm getting out of bed or I am not turning my car to go towards my house I'm going to the gym or I am not eating that cupcake because I have that protein bar in my desk or that apple whatever because I will feel so good doing that one time it may not work right away. You may have to try the second time. But one time, two times that it does work, guess what? It's you becoming, you're learning a new habit. And eventually, not that you will never struggle with that thing that you struggled before, but it's gonna be a very easy struggle to win. Like your like you know, like your wrestle, like arm wrestle. Someone like at first it's like it's so hard, you have to put your whole body into that and then you get stronger and you like bam, 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 and then you just use the your your hands, nothing else. And you just get it down and you're moving on. It's really true in so many ways. So just trying it once, using something to take that next step, something small. Like a, a, like a feeling that you had when you did something. Yeah, I mean, it's <clears throat> a lot of the, the things that we are discussing, they all kind of lead back to some of the topics we talked about. I mean, this is part of your habits and, you know, 
setting up habits and understanding how to actually set up a habit um, is going to go obviously a long way. But in a sense, you won't be able to set up a habit if you're constantly, um, in a sense, pointing fingers as to the reason and finding reasons why something can't happen. And you're using uh, language, right, that is almost, I don't want to say, you're using language that's not setting you up for, for, for success. And if again, if you're going to use the words, I can't, or I will, I will try, maybe, guess what? Your brain it understands what you're saying. Like, no joke. <laughs> Your brain is smarter than you at this point, okay? So, so if you're going to use the words, I uh, maybe, guess what? You're going to have maybe results. But if you're going to actually tell yourself that you will do it, you're, and no matter what happens, you will find a way how to do it. You're going to be very result-oriented, right? Versus, um, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> wish, wish, wish oriented, or, or even uh, um, you can say uh, just, just being complacent about things, just hoping something is going to happen. Well, yeah, guess what? That's, that's, that's why you have the results that you have. So you got to change your, your mindset and, and the words that you tell yourself. You also need to tell, you also need to be able to change and be very, very realistic with yourself as to why you're not achieving something yeah. and take, and it's, it takes a lot of guts. I'll tell you, it is very difficult. Most people do not want to hear the truth. Most people, if someone tells them the truth, they think that person is a bitch. Guess what? Sometimes that person is not a bitch. That person gives a shit about you and they're actually telling you how things truly are. And guess what? Maybe that is a, a good way for yeah. you to now take a step back reevaluate why you did something or why you were doing it and why why you were trying to in a sense self-sabotage yourself by either pointing fingers at something or somebody why you didn't achieve it right and it's a very it's a very long road to be able to do that and it takes a lot of guts as you as an individual to do it but guess what once you do you're you're going to have a a new life in a sense you will see things in a very different perspective and you got to take that responsibility. You are the only person that can take responsibility and change your life and change steps that you are doing in your life. There is definitely no absolutes or clear cuts in everything. Just um, there's many spectrums of everything that we talk about. I think that good analogy is being a parent and a child. Think about if you have kids, not everyone has kids, but think about your own parents. If you how many times you they've told you things that you did not want to hear did they tell did they tell you because they want to hurt you no it hurt because it was something that was good for you it's something that you needed to hear and learn it almost goes that it, it almost that that way with your true friends or true support system and certainly you may not be around people that are trying that are on the same journey that you let's say fitness because that's what we're talking about that's what we're sticking to yep. the concept of fitness and nutrition let's say they're not ready to lose weight they don't need to lose weight they don't want to lose weight they don't want to go to the gym whatever they don't need to, to start exercising or they already are whatever but if they are truly people that that you that care about you they will support your your search for your a different group of people that are same minded, the people that need to start taking those steps, or they will be taking it with you, or they will support you in looking for those steps instead of telling you it's okay, don't worry about it. Not everyone, you know, is thin, or not everyone is, you know, eating apples as a as a dessert. Yes, but that's not not everyone. Absolutely, it's not like what they are saying is a lie. It is not, but it doesn't help you. It's not what you need at the moment. So, therefore, try to look at your support system. Try to look at what around you, what what enables you to to be where you are. So, and maybe you need to change that. Maybe you need you need to be the one that needs to see the change, and you need to be the one that talks to the to or, or, or brings it up to your friends or whoever your family is, not that they are responsible for your, for your opening refrigerator and eating that ice cream, your spouse, your kids want that ice cream and, but it's not their fault. You're eating it. Absolutely not. You feel you want to buy it for them, buy it for them, make them, you know, let them eat it, but it's not, it doesn't talk to you. Don't, don't eat it. So don't look for an excuse as you have to, because you live that lifestyle. No, look for uh, a reason of why and how, you can change that lifestyle for you 
invite your family, your friends, your support, your whatever group you're in, or just go in it by yourself. Find a way. Find a way. That's, Absolutely. And it will definitely I think... become from a victim mentality to a survivor mentality, to a winner mentality, to the boss mentality. Think about think about someone who is who was caught captive. Like it's just it's I know it's very like, you know, physical image or maybe a very unpleasant image. Someone who is called captive. If I mean hopefully you never were for at that time you called captive. And what goes through your mind? What goes through the captive person's mind? I will get out. I know I will survive and I will get out. I'm going to find a way. I know what. And, but because if you don't, I hear, I heard it and I know it from many survivors. If they lose that, I will do it. They will, they're going to lose the, the fight. So same thing. Same it thing. is. It's because it's, this is where, again, we're talking about the words, the words, I will versus I will try. Right. And it's I also will. your identity. What are you identifying yourself as? If you've always adult, if you if you constantly identify yourself as, oh, I'm just big boned, or oh, I was just born like this, and oh my gosh, my whole life I've just struggled, and I'm just going to continue to struggle, and oh, I'm just not meant to 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 uh, look this way, or I'm not meant to exercise. I, you know, whatever the excuses are, guess what? Those those are the same excuses that are actually holding you back from achieving whatever you're yep. trying to achieve. Because you ident- you've already identified yourself as that individual, as that person that cannot go past or further, and you're just going to continue to spin the wheel in a sense, right? Because that's what you keep telling yourself. So you got to really change, and as much as we want to say, you got to change the story, change your own story, change your words, how you're speaking to yourself, find the correct support system of people who are not going to, in a sense, derail you and almost, you know, again, <laughs> give you a trophy for just showing up. <laughs> right. Or hurt you along. Say it because... Or stroke you along. Or stroke you along the same pattern. Right. Say, it's okay. I love you. I love you anyway. It's okay. You're beautiful right. anyway. I that's love fine. You, anyway. you, can love, you, can, you can love a person anyway, and that's okay sometimes to say it, but it's not okay to allow that person to live in that state of mind that it is okay yeah. to do whatever they're doing that is not benefiting them, right? It is, it, it, again, it's, and in, in, in a lot of times, we're going to go to, again, support systems. This is where a lot of the, the I think, a lot of the, the fitness, you can say, uh, goals <laughs> get flushed down the toilet <laughs> because you don't have the right systems in place and the right support that is allowing you to move forward. And you really do need that objective individual who sees things for what they are and are there to sometimes just kick you in your butt and, and, and move you along and say, no, you're not and correct. Sorry. Like whoever's telling you whatever, not correct. You have a that, goal, you're focusing or something. You need to keep moving. <laughs> yeah. You, you, yes, yep. you need to someone who is real, who is not afraid to stand up to you. Even if they, you are not going to like that person, even if you're going to be, feel like you're going to get like you're going to get yelled at and just like a, you know, like when you, when you tell to your child, like do something or do, and they like start screaming and telling you they hate you and you're the worst parent ever. The first, I mean, your support system should not be afraid to be real. Hell, are you saying that our children are not always smiling like they show us in magazines? It's not, it's not perfect. They are not. They are not the, the beautiful families that all get along. The beautiful families that all. I have. was duped. I gotta tell you. I, mean, I, I, I was duped. I was watching I, those goddamn commercials with the with these perfect with these perfect families always smiling. You know, it's just it looks like rainbows and peaches. And yes, and <laughs> it's the. It's the, the my, you know, all these beautiful families of male, female, and two children of each gender, and a beautiful dog. That's right. And they all take so pictures together. So what happens together. when you don't have? What happens when you don't have a, a, a different gender? So all the stuff. <laughs> That's why you do. Have, so what happens when you have one pen? What happens? It, it's almost going back to the uh, episode or when we discussed the beautiful models. How she has this flawless skill uh, or that guy that yeah. has this like, beautiful head six pack abs and he smiles and it just it, it's not the reality is not the reality is not perfect 
perfection is not reality. Can you make yourself perfect for that one photo shoot? Yes. Is it? But it's not real life. Real life is struggle. Just like you said, real happiness is overcoming a struggle. How do you finish the marathon? Have you ever finished a person? Uh, have you seen people finishing marathon? I'd never forget my, my finish. I never finished pretty. I never wanted the pictures at the end of the marathon. I, I finished on half of my leg. I finished <laughs> with, with sometimes half of my teeth. I had no, I had no, uh, my, 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 my knees were swollen. Are you kidding me? It's not pretty. Success is not pretty. Real love is not pretty. Real sex is not beautiful. Come on. Real things are not gorgeous. It has to be, be ugly before it gets beautiful. Remember? That's right. Yeah, and that's right. The I love it. <laughs> metamorphosis. It's the metamorphosis yes. of a, of this ugly little uh, what uh, snail or whatever it is that yes. turns into the, a butterfly. <laughs> the be- I mean, the true the, 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 the true beauty of everything is inside. I mean, but but you know, this is why you know social media getting a lot of heat from a lot of people. I mean, it's great for many things. Obviously, like they're showing our podcast, so it's good for our podcast. <laughs> but keep sharing. Can- keep sharing. It also can be, I, I guess, an, an enabler for things that are not so good, promoting unrealistic expectations, promoting unrealistic goals. However, just like everything is in life, you need to look at things, you need to look at it with clear, uh, you know, with a clear vision, you need to, you know, uh, dissect the information or, you know, the visual things that you see and just kind of, you know, be a, be a smart person. Be not a small, but be some, be a real person. So think about, think about what you see. Don't just take things as it, you know, you no one gets, you know, just, I guess we need to finish up talking at some point, but no one gets to the top of the mountain. No one gets thrown there. You climb there. Just you climb to that mountain. You see that beautiful view after hours, months, years of climbing. You may see that beautiful view. You may be there and you're like, you know what? That's not what I really is. That all I'm getting. Guess what? <laughs> Enjoy. If you did not look around at that journey going there, if you never enjoyed one little bit of that journey, guess what? Climbing mountains maybe not for you. Maybe go swim. Maybe you'll enjoy water. So enjoy That's the right. truly enjoy the journey. The journey. It's the journey. It's the journey to get to that mountain. Always. Yes. It's never the end goal. It's always what you become. And during the process of it, that's what it is about. The, but, a, a victim mentality, same thing. Enjoy that journey, the little steps. Think about how you're overcoming those little victories of being a different person. You may not change your mentality in one month, but those little things, they, they are the one that should, they, that should shine they, um, along the way. Real, just, just, again, just to be, you know, just, just to put this out there, lasting change takes time. So again, quick fixes of these promises that you're going to achieve something in 30 days. Do you see the result? Yeah, of course. But guess what? What happens as soon as you get the the result? You revert back, right? You're constantly going to be reverting backwards. You will never be able to maintain something that took you 30 days to achieve or 15 days or whatever the promises are. Lasting change lasting results take a long time to in order to Let's achieve them this is not a way to discourage you this is a way for you to understand why if you have haven't if you've been struggling to attain something right why you keep going back and forth between yeah. things it could be a, it, it, it it is because of your mindset it is also of processes that you have in place or that you've tried and again it's it takes time. You have to believe in what you're doing in the process that you're going through. And you, you physically almost or mentally are changing. And that change will manifest itself in a certain appearance, right? Um, or a certain way that you're going to, that certain goal that you're trying to achieve. So I think we're just going to, you know, on, on the closing of things, um, you know, with, with, with the victim mentality, I mean, the biggest, I think, takeaways um, for, for me at least, is the fact that one, you wanna make sure you have the right su- support system in place. Um, it's gonna be someone who is you know, objective and can, in a sense, um, kick you in a butt, right? And kind of move you along to where you need to go without 
trying to uh, kind of uh, cradle you and cuddle you and uh, tell you everything is going to be okay, <laughs> in a sense. It will be at the um, end. It will be at the end. It, everything is always okay. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you, uh, you definitely need that, that individual that's going to just kind of move you along. Um, I think that's the biggest takeaway. And again, it's also the, another big takeaway is identity. Your, how do you identify yourself? Um, what do you say to yourself and, and uh, how have you always kind of seen yourself? You know, who do you portray yourself as? I mean, if you've always considered to be overweight or if you've always considered yourself to be not an athlete or someone who works out, well, guess what? You're going to continue to stay that way until you start to your hat until your actions start to, you know, prove you wrong in a sense. Right. you got to take the first steps. you got to continue those steps. And you got to keep reminding yourself that, yes, this is who I am now. This is what I do. And, you know, eventually, little by little, um, you'll believe it and you'll get the results. Anything else I missed? Uh, I think that... <sighs> it's My Skype is trying to update me. Upgrade. Um, oh, yeah. Next. Uh, I think that it's you, you hit the nail on the head with uh, with the takeaway. It's you know it's and, you know you need to take that step to first step to change something, and then you don't stop. You take another step. I you you not just identifying yourself once, but maintaining the steps to keep identifying, to keep feeling like that person. Because eventually, this is who you are. You're gonna find a way to keep identifying as that athlete or as that person or as that unicorn. If you believe you're in a unicorn, guess what? Eventually, you're, you're going to become a real unicorn. <laughs> a horn, yeah. right. Um, yeah, it's so true. I mean, we believe we become who we are, uh, and we don't even see that transition. But take one step, take second step. It never stops. The journey never ends. It never ends. You never stop training. You never stop struggling. Life is a struggle. That's it. Absolutely. I mean, once you take that first step, it's not the last step. It's not a 30-day diet. It's a first step. The, you take the diet, then you find a different way to maintain it. Then maybe you change the diet. Then maybe something else. You always, you're just going to become that person that always looks for, you know, to stay identifying as the person you want to be. It's just, it, it's that's just right. that's what it is. You're not born that way. No one is. And, and guess what? And even if you think you have some sort of, um, you're an anomaly, right? And a lot of people think they're an anomaly. And uh, I guess <laughs> we're kind of, we're kind of treading backwards. But, you know, some people, some people think that, hey, they can't lose weight because they have a slow metabolism or because they have something wrong with, I don't know, their genetics. And guess what? Unless you can go to the doctor and they take your blood and they can physically diagnose and say, yes. You really do have an issue with your, let's say, your thyroid or whatever the case may be. Most most of those cases are very rare, yeah. and you are not an anomaly. And the fact that you keep thinking you're an anomaly is also not doing you any good and why you Absolutely. are kind of reverting backwards. You're not an anomaly. Like, there's nothing... <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that special or that wrong with you that, that you can't move forward. What's wrong again step, is your mentality. You got to change your mentality. Step one, go to the doctor. See your body of blood. Step two, find a way to increase your metabolism, build muscle. So we're not. It's a, it's a totally different. Uh, we we're gonna keep. We I'm sure that we're gonna have a whole special episode talking about how to get started again. When we had this episode before, but we may have to have to talk the whole. You know, we need a whole episode to talk about how to start in fitness. Absolutely, because um, yeah, once once um, quarantine is done, you need to readjust your schedule again, and it is almost like a restart in a sense, right? Yep. For some, it might be Absolutely. a full restart. For others, it's just a restart and reframing and changing their their um, their routine, kind of their, their, their steps, and what they do. yeah, and their routine, what they do. And it's, listen, it's not, it's not easy for anyone. Everyone, everyone has their own struggles as to, you know, how they're trying to, to maneuver things. But nevertheless, you have to, you have to be flexible. We as humans, we were born. And the reason why we have lived on earth 
for how many centuries and and millions and, and I don't know years, right? Is because we are so we we are adaptive. You have to be an adaptive species. You have to be able to be that flexible in order to move with the shifts and the changes. Yeah, and that same absolutely. goes with your diet. That same goes with your routines of exercise, modalities of exercise, especially something that we just talked about as you age. You know, age is not should not ever be a factor for you to stop doing something. Um, it's, you Don't fall victim to that's your just age. the reality. That's right. Don't be a victim to your age. <laughs> so if you guys like the content, again, hit the subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you next time.